let's paint this little schmack monster. Uh, if you're wondering what happened to her, I'll explain that in a moment. Now, I already did the prepping and put a layer of primer and I'm starting to do the shading. So, as you can see, I'm struggling a bit to get an opaque layer. I don't know if that's my pastel fault or the brush is wrong, but whatever. So, if you're wondering what her story is and why she looked the way she did in the beginning, um, yeah, I'm responsible for that. A year or two ago, I was planning on painting her, and uh, when I prepared her, I went ahead and put a layer of primer, but I had a little experience and I put a way too thick layer of primer. The paint was super bulgy and it created air bubbles that then popped, creating little circles in her mane and tail, which looked really strange. And the paint was so thick, if you scratched her, it would come off in pieces. It would literally come off. The paint was super thick and it covered all the details and she looked horrible. So what I did now is I put her in my bathtub. I removed all the paint. So I did the prepping again. I put a layer of primer that this time I made sure it's gonna be super thin. And when she was opaque and ready to be painted, I went ahead with the pastels. I chose her to be bay brown, so I started with a layer of brownish pastels under her belly, legs and neck. And now, as you can see, I'm shading the muzzle because Bayrons have dark skin. So she'll have a grey muzzle, also grey legs and a dark mane. So this was the first layer and now I'm moving on to the next one, which is basically the same, but I'm just gonna make the colors more prominent and also touch up the areas which would not absorb any more pastels on the previous layer and they still weren't opaque enough and once all the shading is done, I think it took like 4 layers, I suppose I went ahead with the acrylic paints and I started painting the mane which was really challenging because it's a really detailed mane which has a a lot of small hair strands and I really made sure to not paint the wrong areas which should be her base coat not um, the hair you know so I'm painting the main black with a touch of brown and I also apply the same to her tail uh, I really struggled with this because guys make sure you water down the paint well enough because if you don't the paint is gonna be thick it's gonna create really really nasty bulges and it's gonna be difficult to remove and it's it's really gonna show just make sure your paint is thin enough and just go on in extra layers if you have to i'm also shading some hair strands brown to give more depth to the hair And once I finished with the mane and tail, which took me like forever, I moved on to painting the hooves, eyes, I paint the rims of her ears brown, and also some hair detail to the legs, and covering a mark I made on her belly by accident, which actually was a good idea because I added a little bit hair detail and texture to the belly which made the rounding more visible and with this she was ready I'm aware that it's not a super detailed or complicated project but I haven't been into repainting in a while so I needed an easy project to start so overall I think she's pretty cute and I'm happy I did her because she's a really nice addition to my collection and she looks way better this way than the monster we've seen at the beginning so i think i think she turned out pretty nice i hope you like her too and if this video was helpful or enjoyable then i'm glad i hope you're all well and see you next time bye